Take us back. You were 22, working your nine to five. What What were you doing? Like, take us back. My first brand, Skinny Me Tea, happened, I guess, like really organically. Like, I was doing a lot of detoxes at the time. I'd always absolutely loved tea. And I read the ingredients of like this full on detox that had like all these preservatives. It was like in a tablet, like a capsule sort of form. And I was like, all of these are like natural herbs. Like I could make this from my local health food store and like, um, you know, go down to like, you know, some different supermarkets and things and find like the main ingredients in this tea and just make it for myself. So I started making myself this tea and then my friends wanted to drink it. My coworkers wanted to drink it to the extent that I was making it for so many people. And it was actually quite expensive to make. I was buying all these like really unique organic herbs. And I was like, I had like no money in the bank by the end of it. Like that was a big part of like this, why I had $24 in the bank when I started this company was because I'd made that much tea for everyone. Then I was thinking, and I was really uncomfortable being like, how do I ask people for money for this product? Like, as in like, I need them to start paying me to make it for them because it's expensive to make and I can't just like keep giving it to people. So I was like, okay, well, I could charge money. And then I literally was in bed one night and I was just thinking like, how can I do all this? And I was like, actually, maybe this is my thing. This can be my like side project. Um, and I was just like, you know, thinking around words and terms. And I was like, detox tea. And I was just like, tea tox. And it was like coming up with that tea tox, like compound term, bringing those two kind of like disparate things together in a way that like was my like aha moment of being like, okay, I have to pursue this idea. And every time I've started a brand, it's been like this aha sort of moment where I've been like, I have to pursue that idea and I can't not. But yeah, no, I had $24 in the bank at the time. And I mean, a lot of people hear that too and are like, no way, like you can't build a brand of $24, blah, 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 blah. Like, yes and no. So what we would do is I was making the tea by hand every day. So I would, well, not every day, actually, I was making it on weekends by hand. So I would take orders during the week and then I would make the tea on weekends by hand. So basically I was on a pre-sale model. I just didn't know that it was called a pre-sale model. I just was like, okay, I'm working a nine to five. So I don't have time to like pack and fulfill and make orders on weekdays. I'll make them on the weekends so everyone can buy the tea on the weekdays. Then I'll use the money that they use to buy, like to buy the tea, to make it on the weekends. So I was actually in a, yeah, in an absolute pre-sale model. So like, I guess two learnings from that, if you are starting with like a minimal sort of budget is thinking about products that you can hand make and thinking about products that you can pre-sell. Like, and anyone can pre-sell any product really. And there's great like Shopify themes and, you know, there's Kickstarter, there's all different platforms that you can use to crowdsource like the funding for your brand as well. So you don't have to think, you know, necessarily that you need to go take out a bank loan or save up like X amount of money. Like there are like quicker, easier, more hacky sort of ways to get started with a minimum budget as well. Hey, Founder Fam, did you love this video? Well, if you did, you can join us right now and attend a free training session with today's founder where we'll go even more in depth. Click here and we'll see you soon.